Hello souls. Today's reading is dedicated to is this business idea going to be successful? So in case you have specific business idea and you are wondering whether it's going to be successful or not, this is your reading. I will check if the idea is going to be successful. If not, what other kind of idea could be more successful or could be more lucrative for you? You have five, five files to choose from. Take your time. Okay. Let's start with pile number one. There is money in this idea, but not so many. Maybe because you don't know that much about this, uh, like this kind of job or business. Maybe you have to learn more and educate yourself better i believe this is something brand new for you and you are not experienced but you could succeed not a big success but you see some money okay let's see what will be, be the development of the idea You have a lot of energy you want to invest in this business plan and you have a lot of passion and you really want this to happen and this card tells me that you are uh, ego driven which means that uh, you want to succeed to succeed in uh, the eyes of other people, to be successful. You don't afraid to take action and to try new things. However, there's a warning that you need to use your mind more, not be that emotional or uh, impulsive because these are your weakest points maybe you're too emotional too impulsive you have some t some idea in your head and you want it to happen immediately uh, so you have to review your strategic uh, your plan in strategic manner and uh, check all the points you have to check it will be good if you consult also with uh, some kind of specialist in this uh, industry or at least accountant or a lawyer who can uh, review your uh, business plan because you need some logical mind in all this passionate idea and eventually you will succeed you will find uh, the right partner business partner to help you in this opportunity in this business opportunity but uh, the advice is to consult with somebody and not to work by your own so find a business partner who has uh, business qualities that you don't uh, have like uh, if you are more passionate uh, find somebody who is more uh, more uh, logical and vice versa okay this was 
everything for pile number one pile number two how this idea looks like maybe you want to travel to go and go to work uh, in another place or your idea has to do with movement you really want to make this happen let's see how this idea looks like like business opportunity mm, it looks like uh, this idea depends on the see there's some seasoning in it like uh, maybe it's only during the high season a job you can do only specific time of the year or uh, maybe it's a job that uh, has its ups and downs and for example during the summer goes better during the winter the cold time goes not that bad not that good and uh, most probably you already have experience with this kind of business so you are aware, well aware of these issues and you believe that everything will go smoothly and will go easy but you are missing something here let's see what you are missing there are a lot of competitors in this uh, industry this is what you what you are missing or you are trying to forget because uh, like uh, you try to act like uh, they are not bothering you but you know very well that there is a competition and there will be a competition so don't play the fool <laughs> do your homework and consider if it worth worth it let's check what you have to do towards the competition in order to succeed what you have to do If somebody is offering you a like a business partnership or a, some good opportunity, don't ignore it. This will be a really good chance, even uh, if the offer comes from someone of your competitors. This will be a really good chance just make sure that uh, all the documents are in order take this opportunity don't sleep over uh, just be active as much as you can as, as much as you can and uh, you will be able to make a really good business together with the other party okay so this is the advice uh, don't try to outsmart your competitors uh, if you have some business 
partnership offer from some of them accepted just make sure that all documents are in in order and in place and you succeed and you will be able to work very good together okay that's what that was so for pile number two and now we'll move on to pile number three wow <laughs> Maybe you want to become famous. Let's see if this is really a bit a uh, big business idea or is like too idealistic. How this idea looks like overall. I think this is some sort of a dream that you had ever since you were a little child and uh, now you are starting to consider it as a plan how can you achieve it you believe that uh, if you put the necessary effort you see the money come back to you and I'm almost sure that you want to become famous one way or another and you're thinking I put so many effort and I deserve it and these cards are really promising we see four major arcana cards out of six so and they are positive cards even uh, the dead card indicates transformation and the transformation leads to the sun card where when uh, things brighten up So I don't see, to be honest, money in this idea. Maybe it won't be successful from economic point of view, but it will bring really so much joy to your soul. And you will feel really happy as when you were a kid. This is the message. Yes, emotional fulfill, fulfillment. This is this is the gain from this idea. It's not that much about the business. It's uh, just about your soul, what your soul needs and wants. So, uh, I believe that you need to go after this idea because it's uh, some sort of a soul call that you need to fulfill it won't be that easy you have to put everyday effort in this idea show that you are strong but you have also a lot of fun and you make you happy and this is the message there won't be money yeah, in this idea so if you need it if you feel that this is what you need to do do it this is the advice but don't expect to be to become also rich you become famous but not that rich as you maybe plan to okay Pile number four. You are uh, really afraid of this idea. Maybe you think that there are 
a lot of things that are unclear and they appear scary to you because when something is unknown usually it's also scary you know that uh, this is a uh, industry or topic you you are not that familiar with it's out of your comfort zone so let's see how it looks like It shows some sort of a structure where everything is organized and it's being done in a specific manner and uh, you probably had short experience with this in the past and you didn't like it and you know that there's a lot of competition however you your intuition maybe tells you that uh, this could be successful business idea it doesn't look like such from these cards why it won't be successful Because people won't be interested in this idea. Like, uh, most probably, as you think about it, it's not that bad, but it's uh, not tangible. You cannot touch it. You, you didn't consider all the details, and you don't see some important aspect of it so the advice here is uh, to change this idea with another one to not follow this one okay let's uh, check what will be the successful the more successful idea you could chase how it looks It has to do with savings, so something passive, not that, maybe insurance, business, uh, the money uh, people get after an incident. and the money that, well, that accumulates in time savings investments but slow investments not uh, something too risky i won't say that this is crypto <laughs> if you're thinking about this it's not crypto it's more like uh, commodities maybe gold I would say that this is investment in gold or uh, insurance. So this is the advice for pile number four. Let's check pile number five. Wow, you're, you're very stressed about this business idea. Is it going to be successful? What will happen? So let's see how this idea looks like. File number
It's something practical yet that brings joy. Maybe something from something for the home, some home improvements. I see that maybe you are considering like home renovations or some, something similar or uh, selling um, items for children and pets. It starts really well, but slowly slowly doesn't go doesn't go doesn't go really well as you can see from these cards so there will be some disappointment in this idea if you decide to follow it maybe you feel like an uh, outcast and like you are not accepted Or the idea is not accepted as it should be. And uh, the problem is that maybe it won't be that popular. It will start really well. There will be interested, interest uh, towards the idea. But slowly it will be uh, became, it will become like secret. Maybe there will not be as much advertisement as in the beginning why it won't be successful let's check is it, is it that it will lack advertisement what will be the, the main issue The cards are telling me that there will be financial success in this idea. Maybe you will... Uh, the problem is that you will be driven from uh, money interest only. And this could be some sort of an issue. Maybe the emotional fulfillment won't be there anymore after you start gaining money. But the money is there and you will receive, receive it. So if you're looking for financial gain, go after this idea. If you are looking for emotional fulfillment from this idea, it won't be that successful. Maybe this is part of your personal characteristic that you, you need something more deeper than just earning money. You have to feel some emotional fulfillment and uh, have this is, the idea needs to have uh, some meaning to you is it this the right reason yes this is this is the answer so uh, you will gain a lot of money with this idea but it won't be uh, it won't make you feel successful because you're looking also for deeper meaning not only for money and you could walk away at certain point from the idea the idea by itself is good you know all its details and will be successful business okay 
that was it for pan number five if you liked my style of readings you feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, put a like to, to this video <laughs> see you soon bye bye